Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zach, but you guys can call me Hazardous. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel, and in today's Infinite Warfare video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to win more gunfights in Infinite Warfare. This is also a COD IW, how to die less in Infinite Warfare, get more kills video. I just want this video to get out there, guys, so if you guys could please share it around as much as you can by dropping a like on it if you found this helpful. I put a lot of work into this video developing these tips and tricks, so I would greatly appreciate that, guys. Also, just as a reminder, I'm hosting a COD point giveaway for the release of Infinite Warfare, so if you want to enter into this video, drop a like down below comment why you want to win and also subscribe to my channel i will be picking a winner shortly just a reminder but let's get into this video guys on how to win more gunfights the first tip i have for you guys is to use your head glitch spots infinite warfare has a lot of head glitch spots and there's a lot of locations to use to your advantage so you want to make sure you use all these head glitches because this game is all about location so if you're in a good spot especially a spot with head glitches you will win most of your gunfights take advantage of all the cover all the boxes all the crates all the barrels barriers everything you can find just try to find head glitch cover in general Another tip I have for you guys is to use your thrusters when engaging in a gunfight. So another example of that is jump shotting because it throws the enemy off and it also awards you with two times XP for that kill. Before or during a gunfight, use a sliding feature to your advantage also. If you know an enemy is aiming at you as you pass through a corridor, try sliding through the corridor because you'll move faster and the enemy is usually not expecting someone to slide through a corridor into a gunfight. And also a quick tip to give you the upper hand while already being shot at. So try to slide when you know you're about to get shot at because the enemy won't know where you're aiming and you can slide and kill them really, really easily. Another tip for winning gunfights is to hip fire. Use hip firing while you're boosting or thrusting or jumping in a gunfight. Don't hip fire all the time. It's just very handy when you and your enemy are in very close quarters. So you don't want to try this from a very long range because you need to ADS when you're at long range so you can actually kill the enemy. But if you're up close, try hip firing because you'll have a larger bullet spread. Also, do not drag scope because if the enemy is moving fast or there are multiple enemies, don't aim and drag your crosshairs to them. What you want to do is kill enemy enemy, aim out, reposition your aim, and aim back in and start firing. You gotta do this very quick, and it takes some time to get used to, but just keep practicing and you will notice a big difference between your skill level, and you will notice you start to win a lot more gunfights when you don't drag scope, when you use your hip firing appropriately, and when you jump shot and slide. Another tip I have for you guys is to pre-aim, and this allows you to already be aiming down sights on the move when you know an enemy is coming and or coming out of cover, and in Call of Duty, whoever shoots first and is accurate most, they usually win the gunfight. That's, that's that happens most of the time so you want to be able to pre-aim because if you know an enemy is coming around a corner you want to aim before he actually comes around that corner so you could start shooting beforehand use the uav to your advantage because you can maximize the effectiveness of the pre-aiming technique if you look at the uav every three to five seconds that's kind of a general tip i have for you guys to just improve your game in general is to look at the uav often and if you notice an enemy is there pre-aim and start to shoot right before you know you're going to see him on your screen and it's easier to do this when you have a headset like astros and you're using uav at the same time the last tip I have for you guys is to drop shot. Use a tactical button layout on your settings options in Infinite Warfare to make this easier for you. You could use a scuff controller to help make this easier, but those are a really expensive alternative. And drop shotting allows you to shoot and go prone, which will throw off the enemy's aim because they're not expecting you to do that at all. Combine the drop shot technique with the jump shot in gunfights to really have a competitive edge. Try mixing it up. For one gunfight, try drop shotting. For another gunfight, try sliding. And for the third gunfight, try jump shotting and see which one works best for you. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Like I said, just a reminder, the COD point giveaway is ending soon and I will be choosing a winner very shortly. So if you want to enter into that, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you drop the like on this video and make sure you comment it down below. For the same reason for you guys to drop the like, I put a lot of time into this video developing the tips and tricks. So I would greatly appreciate that. If you guys could share this video around, you could share it by dropping a like because you will share it on Twitter if you have your Twitter account connected to YouTube. So thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I have tons more videos coming out later today. I will also have a Call of Duty Infinite Warfare how to improve your kill death ratio video coming out very soon so make sure you're tuned into the channel for that i hope you guys have a fantastic day thanks again so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video adios amigos